Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be showing you how you can make a rather simple inverter based on the triple five timer IC. So the complete circuit diagram is shown for the power supply you need a 12 volts battery. There is also a voltage regulator for the five timer IC. Since most don't handle more than 12 volts, so the LED and the resistor uh, completely optional, it just indicates that the FFV timer is found and the inverter is operating. So the timer comes in an 8 pin doing line package, pin 4 and 8 are connected to the power supply, pin 1 is ground, pin 2 and 6 are connected together and to ground through this timing capacitor, connect pin 5 to ground through this 10 and 4 capacitor. So pin 7 is the discharge pin while pin 3 is the output pin. At pin 3 there are, there are square wave output passes. So the timer is connected to operators and a stable motor vibrator. The frequency is determined by the by the resistor R1 as well as the potentiometer and the timing capacitor. Adjusting the potentiometer allows you to adjust the output frequency to any desired amount from 50 to 60 hertz, which is the recommended for most electrical appliances. So, when pin 3 is high, Q2 will conduct since it's get to get biased by the resistor at form. And so, when Q2 conducts, current will flow from the VCC, which is 12 volts, through the primary of the transformer, through the first half, and to ground through Q2. So, the Q1 Q3 MOSFET is turned off since the transistor Q1, which acts as a not kit, it will invert the high pass from pin 3 and turn on the transistor Q1, which will connect the gate to ground. So when Q3 gets low, Q2 will turn off, but Q3 will conduct since this transistor will turn off, and so the gate of the Q3 will be get biased by the positive power supply for the timer IC and when Q3 conducts current to flow from the 12 volt rail through the other half primary winding through the MOSFET and to ground. So this makes a full cycle of the push-pull driver to Poronje. So depending on the transformation ratio between the primary windings and the secondary, the output voltage will be entirely dependent on that and if you want about 230 volts the ratio should be about 1 is to 19 or 20 to allow for some in eventualities, so ensure that the, you can have the primary windings like 10 turns on each side and the secondary winding have about 20 turns. If you want any other voltage, just con relate the ratio between the primary and secondary windings and know that the output will be directly proportional to the transformation ratio. So basically that's all about the projects. If you are interested in the PCB, it looks as shown. Here you have your battery. The regulator, these are the power MOSFETs, this is the connection to the transformer, this is the center tap and the primary windings, the timer and its biasing circuit, the input filtering capacitor, and the final the rebuild looks as shown. So you have your input, and this is the connection to the transformer. These are the power MOSFETs, which I recommend to mount on large heat sinks to dissipate any excess heat. The output power will be dependent on the MOSFET you use. If you use the IRF Z44, the power will be about 400 watts. If you want more than that, I recommend use the IRF Z05, which will increase the power up to more than 800 or 900 watts. And even if you power more of those, you can obtain more than 1000 watts. So with that being said, this marks the end of my tutorial. Don't forget to drop a like and comment and once again thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and projects and also click the bell notifications icon to get notified immediately when i upload new videos i wish you a nice time